What's going on, everybody? Welcome back once again to another edition of Tech of Tomorrow. We've got something really fracking incredible going on today. The MSI R9 290X Lightning Edition card. Now, this thing's pretty awesome. It comes clocked out of the box with a core of 1080 megahertz. This thing's got four gigabyte GDR5 memory. This thing's made to kill. I don't know if you guys know if the Lightning Edition cards are their top of the line cards by MSI. These things are made to be overclocked. They're made to kick ass. They're made to just be in the the top of the line system and they're not for the faint of the heart and they're not for those who are faint of the wall because this bad boy cost a whopping $840. So basically, if you want the best of the best and you want the ass kicker, you've got to pay for that big ass foot. But with that said, let's jump in. Let's check out this card and why it's an awesome thing and why you might just want to stick it inside of your system. Let's go. All right, folks, we're off the bat. Check out this box. I mean, this thing's giant shows a plane coming after you probably, you know, for some of their afterburner software, the afterburner on the jet. You guys can see, obviously it's the Radeon R9 290X, the lightning edition AMD Radeon overclock series graphics. On the side, it says MSI overclock series, no limits. No limits, folks. That's right. It's going to go all the way. Unlike that one girl you were dating, this will go all the way with you. So here you go. MSI on the side. Once again, the Lightning. Just those four gigabytes. PCIe 3.0. DirectX 11.2. Yada yada. We'll get to the back. You guys can see their triple force architecture. MSI's new R9 290X Lightning provides triple force architecture that brings out a blockbuster level of graphics. Yeah. Basically what it is, this is their awesome cooling solution. You guys can see it's got three different layers that go into their cooling solution to keep this thing running really cool. Once again, we see their military class four components. These are all high end components. When they say military class, they don't necessarily mean it's using the military. I just want to clarify that for some people who think that. It just means very, very high end components. When Bruce Wang actually came up with it, he was just trying to come up with a slang and said, all right, this is really good stuff. That's military class. Twin BIOS, enhanced power design, super pipe technology, and dust removal technology is basically when things blow in, gets through the dust, takes it away from it instead of being there. Copper Moss, high C cap, a new SFC, and dark solid caps. Like I said, all awesome components because this thing's made for overclocking. Enough of that. Once we'll just show you the side here. Here's the nomenclature. Shows all that stuff. So you guys are looking to buy this. We'll also have this information down below in the description, but some people like to check that out. So uh, well, over here on the side of the box, they do have like all this stuff. I don't know. I'll show it to you guys. We just see a bunch of features of the card, all its open GL, all that stuff. You guys, the AMD fans, you guys are going to know all the stuff, the minimum system requirements. You guys can see right there, it says 500 watt or greater power supply. So make sure you have the proper component stuff for that. Memory bus 512 bits. Let's actually jump in now and let's actually check out the card. We'll talk about more about those specs. So let me just pop the cap right here. I want to be very careful with this box because I like it and I want to keep it as like a collector's edition. So I don't want to destroy it. So I will take my little ginger time here and uh, I will gingerly remove it from the box. And no, I don't mean ginger like South Park. I'm just gingerly doing it. And I don't mean ginger from Gilligan's Island either. I just, I just don't. So check it out. Looks like a giant shoe box. So that is what it really looks like. It looks like, you know, mama just got a brand new pair of shoes, but it's not. So check that out. Pretty awesome looking giant box. Really, really cool storage for collectors. This is going to be a really cool thing. You know, a lot of people, they not only get their video card, they collect it because after a while, obviously new video cards come up. So boom, bam, shamalami. Check that out. That's really, really cool. And then check this out down here below, just like a toolbox all the accessories pull out. So let's first off, let's talk about the accessories and then we'll move on to the card itself. So let's slap this down real quick. I'll move this just off to the side for a second and we can check out the accessories that come inside the card. So right in the top here, we've got our certificate of quality and stability. You get a nice little certificate there. Pretty cool little thing. Get an alternate bracket for doing different type of cooling. If you're doing LN2 and stuff like that, this might be coming handy. Here goes all kinds of types of connections. So if you have different types of power supplies that may not actually work right out the box, these are in there. You have all your things for connecting to the board to check all your electronics out and all that stuff. That's all this stuff. These will all connect to the video card so you can check all your voltage and all that stuff during overclocking, to, you know, so you don't go crazy and blow the thing up all your different connectors for the power supply, whatever you're going to need. More various, right here you got Molex, 
Molex to, what's this one? This is a Molex to six pin. These are both eight pins. So two eight pins and a six pin power connector. Screws and stuff like that for the bracket we saw a second ago. Get down, down and dirty. The driver CD. We also see the quick user's guide. And then last but not least, we see the R9290X Lightning graphics card, little thing with those three Mark 11 up there. So that's basically it as far as the accessories. Give me one second here, folks, and we'll be back with the card. All right, folks, so let's move on and let's take a look at this insanely beast of a card. Woo, this thing is incredible. All right, so that's all that comes in the box. So I'll close the box up and we'll move it out of the way. Now, this thing weighs 1,580 grams. That's right, it's a pretty heavy dang card. It's also 302 by 131 by 55 millimeters. Well, that translated into English. It has crossfire support four way. Pretty incredible stuff. Let's go ahead and pop the little cap here. here. Nice static bag. Pull this bad boy out. All right, now I'll start off from the back side. Now, right off the bat, I like this card because I love these things. When you get a high-end graphics card and it has a nice protective plate on the rear end of it, I really like that a lot. It keeps you from cutting your hands, keeps you from shorting the card out. Just all in all, totally much better design when you see that. Here we see the lightning nomenclature across the bottom there. These are all the things you'll have to do if you want to remove this and change off the heatsink, like I said before, to take it off and probably use the LN2 and different stuff like that. Here's the PCIe 3.0 right there. Up there on the side, see all of the thin array they were talking about before. I flip it around again. Here once again, we see the lightning nomenclature. More of the fans. Two eight pins and a six pin power connector on there. Now this thing has a maximum resolution of 2560 by 1600, so that's pretty dang incredible stuff. Here on the front of the card, we see there's three different fans. Now, these fans all spin and you can change them at different speeds. Now this little one in the middle can actually get quite loud when you've got this thing blazing, but lightning cards offer amazing cooling right out of the box. I gotta say, the cooling on this thing is gonna work really badass. The previous version of cards I've seen, especially the 780, even though it was an NVIDIA card, I knew game defense went raw, but that card just ran amazing. I know we're gonna get the same thing out of this R9290X. With this great cooling on it, you're gonna get immediate overclocking right out of the box. If you wanna go crazy and do that other stuff, you'll have that option, but you won't really need to. Let's take a look at the rear end here. Now this thing is completely gold plated. Very nice black hardware. You got a single DVI, dual DVI. You have a standard display port, standard HDMI. I said it in the beginning, but this card has a core clock speed of 1080 megahertz, has a memory clock speed of 5000 megahertz and features a 512 bit memory interface. Now, as we take a look at the rear of the card, you can see that all the fans are plugged into these headers right here. And then right here, these are all the connections that you will use to measure the voltage on your card. So you'll plug those little things right in there. You'll have your voltage multimeter. You'll be able to read all that stuff. And even if you have the LN2 cooling, with this being on the back end right here, you'll have no problem at all accessing it. Here on this side, folks, you can really see the amazing amount of aluminum fins going all the way down the side of this card. So this thing's gonna amazingly keep it cool. You've got heat pipes running all through it, heat fins, it's gonna have direct contact with the GPU. Uh, I don't know, I love these cards. A lot of people out there are always wanting to know about the differences in the cooling fans and stuff like that. We're trying to get a video together like that for you guys. But uh, you guys can see this, a lot of stuff came in the box. All right, folks, so there you have it. It's the unboxing and first look of the brand new MSI Lightning R9290X. Next is the testing and then the full review of this badass card. Now, folks, I know this thing's a bit pricey, but right now, as we know, the Bitcoin thing's going on, and while the Bitcoin thing's going on, AMD pricing just has seemed to soar. Hence, when we did a battle, why this card actually lost because of the price on it. But if you're looking for the top-of-line AMD card, you want it's going to overclock out of the box. You're not an 
LN2 person, but just somebody who wants your card to absolutely kick ass, this is going to be one of the absolute best cards you can get your hands on. I know there's going to be other versions by other companies, but this is going to be very competitive. I don't see there being all that much of a difference at all right out of the box between this, one from Asus, one from Gigabyte. Everybody who's going to be bringing their top kick ass card is going to have a top kick ass card. And from MSI, this is their lightning version. So it's going to strike and it's going to strike hard. I'm Elric. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. If you like this video and like this video card, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you're not subbed and you'd like to see more of these type of videos and see more here on Tech of Tomorrow, then hey, you know what to do. Hit that sub button. See you. Guys.